Last week, Poway Mayor Steve Voss brought picnic tables to local restaurants to offer outdoor dining options. Now he's sending out an SOS to help more businesses adapt to indoor restrictions. Mayor Steve Voss joins us now this morning. Good morning to you, Mayor. Good morning. Got your hat all ready. You're ready here this morning. So tell us about this SOI, SOS idea and explain how you're planning to help local businesses here and what the council is planning on considering later on here today. Yeah, you know, we're, we're a city of uh, 50,000 people, but I always like to look for uh, small town solutions to, to solve big problems. And this one seemed natural. Uh, we can share our outdoor spaces so that uh, these folks that are no longer to operate their businesses or their houses of worship indoors, we've got plenty of room for them in our parks. And uh, we're going to talk about that today at a special council meeting that I've called, and I expect it'll be passed. And that's for gyms, right, fitness centers. They can move outdoor to these parks that aren't currently being used, as well as churches and places of worship. They can move out to the parks because, really, I mean, it's a great use of the space, right? Yeah, we've got acres and acres and acres. And when we talk about fitness, that could include yoga, Pilates, karate, taekwondo, uh, you know, anything that would normally be in a, a studio space. Uh, we've got, you know, gosh, a dozen large parks, give or take. Uh, that we can designate some space. All that we ask is they're going to have to be Poway businesses with a Poway business license, and they'll have to have insurance that they can uh, name us as an additional insured. But, you know, during this time when they can't be indoors, we want to help their businesses survive. Is it just gyms and just uh, places of worship, or are there other businesses that can hopefully get outdoors that you're encouraging? You know, I'm I'm open to anything that makes sense in the outdoors. Like I said, you know, when we think gyms, I think of you know, Crunch or Orange Theory, but that could also be yoga sure. instructors and Pilates and and uh, karate and all those kind of things. So, uh, we're going to interpret it as broadly as we possibly can. And we've got enough space in the parks where you know other uses are not going to be pushed out. We've got plenty of room. It'll be by reservation, and uh, I think it's going to work well during this pandemic. Your thoughts on the governor's latest order, shutting down indoor businesses in your city, was that needed to bring the numbers down in Poway? You know, Poway has had uh, some of the lowest, uh, I think we're in the bottom three of cases per 100,000. It's frustrating. We'd like to have more local control, uh, but that just doesn't seem to be in the cards right now. So uh, we're gonna keep rolling with the punches. If they throw up roadblocks, we're gonna go over them around them or under them to take care of our local businesses. There have been a lot of punches thrown here. Your message to the Poway area businesses that are dealing with this second blow. Some of them, uh, some of the businesses we're hearing are fearing that they're not able to make it. So what is the city doing? You know, you know what is your suggestion for them to be able to survive? Hang in there. Uh, we're going to do everything we can to enable them to continue, enable them to continue to have the jobs that they represent. Uh, like we did with the picnic table uh, proposal last week, that saved some some restaurants. I think we're going to save some fitness-oriented businesses and give churches and other houses of worship an opportunity to continue their important work. Uh, we're going to keep looking for ways to, to smooth the path a little bit, however we can. Got to get a little creative these days, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> got to do it. Hey, real quick, before we let you go, your thoughts on Havada Poway Rabbi Israel Goldstein's guilty plea to tax evasion um, his involvement in a donation scheme. Um, how, how are you feeling about this? How is the community feeling about this latest news? I was stunned. And, and honestly, I was sick to my stomach when I heard it. Uh, it's just shocking, uh, disappointing. And, and my, my heart breaks for the congregants of Chabad. Uh, boy, this is just uh, unthinkable to me and I, I'm, I'm still having trouble processing it myself. You two were uh, at a lot of photo ops together um, after this happened. Uh, you, you got to know him a little bit. Is that, is that why that hurts so much? I thought I know him. So yeah, that's why it hurts. Uh, so you're optimistic getting back to the uh, today's developments. You're optimistic the council is going to be able to do something here to help out your local businesses there in Poway. Uh, how quickly could they see some help here? Oh, I think we could have this operational within 24 hours, maybe 48 at the outside. This isn't rocket science. We have to set aside some space in our parks. We've got plenty of it. 
I have to have a reservation system so we don't have people fighting for the same space. But, you know, we can do this and we can do it quickly. And I think it's going to be a huge help uh, to some of our local businesses and houses of worship. So I, I look forward to its approval and getting it in place. We're all having to think outside the box nowadays, aren't we, Mayor? <laughs> outside the walls, That's outside it. the walls. That's it, all right. Thanks so much for your time here today, Mayor Voss. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day.